Viewers, online tipsters. I've done two videos uh, regarding online tipsters already, and this is probably going to be the last one for a, a good number of weeks now, until I get a lot more viewers, that is. Um, I seen something yesterday that really, really disappointed me, um, really concerned me, and I still worry that there's hundreds of you out there, and I mean hundreds of you, that are going to be conned by these online tipsters. The ones that I'm telling you not to use, not the ones I'm telling you to use. Um, I mentioned three in the main. If they want to have me done on that, they can do. It's no problem, because what I'm saying, I believe, is legit and needs to be said. One of them was this guy called Carl, Carl Betts. He comes and goes from YouTube. He's gone at the moment, but he'll be back again soon. He is the best talker of the lot. He's brilliant at what he does. Great graphics and everything else. But he'll give you a free bet, but he's not trying to give you free bets. He's trying to get you to pay for bets that may or may, or may not win. And he's trying to get you to put money on for himself. And he's doing this. If it doesn't win, you don't pay me. He's doing all these different things. Loads and loads of things. He's also asking you to subscribe for a month or three months or whatever. It's all a load of crap. Please, please, please don't do it. You've got then Neil Maurice, who calls himself the Handicap King. I seen he had another one yesterday. He said it, he said it went from odds on to odds again. So we're looking at any of a money shot. Everybody can pick them. Um, he's bragging about having the 4-1 winner of the Locking John Saturday. Well, many of us could have picked that as well. He said his private clients are doing fantastically. Maybe they're having some winners, but they won't be doing fantastically. As I say, somebody said to me the other day, I got a message saying they paid 99 quid for six months. I can only believe it's with him because that's what he charges. And although they had some winners, overall they lost. As I say, he's jetting all over the world on our money and he's not showing us what he's tipping on a daily or weekly basis to these private members. So none of them know if they're winning. None of them know how many of them are winning. When he does this, this no win, no bet. I'm going to give you a horse. Send me details to PayPal. Bet you a five and, and I'll give you a horse. He might be doing that old trick they did outside the race courses. There might be eight horses in a race. If he has, let's say, 80 people doing it, he might give a, each horse to 10 different people. So he's going to get 10 times his five or 10 times his tenner. He can't lose. But we don't know what he's giving because there's no comments. I can't say, well, I was told to bet this horse, and then Joe blocks down down the road telling me he was told to bet another horse. We don't know. There's no comment section open. And then the daddy of them all is Peter Sandrovich. I mean, let me just read some of the things that I read yesterday. This is what made me do this latest video. This is a couple of snippets I read yesterday. 100% winning video since April. So every day since April, what we've done 21st, 22nd, and he's never lost. Doubt that greatly. There might have been a winner or two in there, but... When I was following him about six or eight months ago, because he keeps coming on and off the um, YouTube. Um, he's the presence on it for a few weeks. People find him out, I think. He leaves. He comes back three months later. And he says he's the best tipster of all. Well, as I say, when Alice was following him, even on his free tips, he was given about six selections. And then his racing club is giving yet more. So out of six selections and maybe five or six more in his racing club, 12 selections, you're going to have a winner, aren't you? You've got a good chance of having a winner. But that doesn't mean to say... He's winning overall on all the bets given per day. I'm sure he isn't. As I say, we'll never know. There's no comment section. But yeah, 100% winning video since April. Then, Peter had his biggest bet of the day in 20 years, about two weeks ago. I've seen him do that on four or five occasions in the last six months. Tomorrow I've got an absolute knocker. It's a steal. It's unbelievable. I'm having my biggest bet of the season. My biggest bet. He does it every two or three weeks. It's just a load of crap. I'm the top tipster on YouTube. Nobody's had more winners than me. That's possibly true, but nobody's given more horses neither, so it isn't difficult. He has a snowball bet, and then he has another bet. It, it, it just he'll come on one month, and he's got a name of a bet that isn't. There's no such a bet, no one's ever heard of, and all of a sudden that's his new. And and he's hiding behind these big names of these big bets he's going to have, and people must be thinking snowball bet sounds good. That's well, I'll get on that one. Hey, I don't know. It's crazy. I'm the, I've got the, I'm the best tipster in Ireland. No one's had more winners than me in Ireland. I've got information in Ireland like nobody else has got. Nobody's had more winners than me on the internet, as I say. Nobody. It's all a load of crap. Please, viewers, please, 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 do not with, do not bet with any of these guys unless that comment section is opened. And more importantly, unless they'll give you a running daily total or weekly total of what they're actually betting and what they're in front or what they're behind. But the comment section is so important. You've got to get the comment section open and you've got to be able to comment with other punters on there. And you've got to see it whereby they're not wiping people's comments off neither. Because the three guys I gave you the other day, uh, was it Connor 500, The Glorious Uncertainty, and especially Flat Cap Column, everything's on there for you, there's nothing hidden. 
I mean, I did a, a video on uh, the, the ones I would bet with, and, and the only one I really would bet with would be Flat Cap Callum. And as it turned out, I gave that video, was it last Friday? I said he'd been behind, he'd been behind for the years, had a bad run. You know, one two and a half grand with him, or two six, I think it was, if you'd have bet with him all last year. He's down for this year, or he has been down. I think the day after I gave that video, on the Saturday, I, I hope some people jumped on him that I've seen the video on air and didn't know about him. I think for, I think he was putting 30 quid on, I think he won four sixty. I only seen that last night. I, I've been away for the weekend. I've followed nobody. I don't bet with any of them, by the way. But I like these three guys. I like them because they're genuine. They don't want your money. They're not after anything of you. They want to try to help you to beat the bookies. That's all they want to do. But they have a comment section that's open. They'll help you with your betting. They'll comment back and to, to problems you may have or questions you may have. And they give you a daily or weekly running total of what you're winning or losing. Who can beat that? I mean, Flat Cat Callum's the best of them all because he's so thorough, it's unbelievable. I think he said he had something like 20 horses on Saturday, and for 20, 12 of them won or got placed. I think he said 60%. If you look on the thing on his, his website, if you don't know him, please visit him. He's called Flat Cat Callum, and have a look on Saturday, he's just gone, and the Sunday, and then look at his comments bit where he gives his, and he tells you what he's done. He doesn't always do that well, he'll tell you that. You'll lose more often than you win with him, he'll tell you that. But that £400 win that he's had on Saturday, I think now puts him up for the year. Or if he doesn't, he's very close, but I think he's ahead. But he has been behind. But I said to people on Friday, if you bet with him all this year, I believe that you'll win money by year end. And I do, and I did. And that just shows what he can do. He's brilliant. And honestly, I don't know him. I've never spoke to him. I messaged him in the comment section like he, he has to other people because I followed him and I, and I praise him when he's done well and I tell him to keep his chin up when he's doing badly because sometimes he has bad runs. And it bothers him. He's that He cares that much that it bothers him because he feels he's letting his followers down. None of them care. They follow him because they know he's good at what he does and his heart's in the right place. And they know ultimately, like I know, they'll win with him. So he has no reason to apologise to them, but he does. He's just a nice guy. If you want to win money, go bet with Flat Cap Callum. But do it every day. Don't miss any days. If you want to throw money away, bet with Neil Maurice. Is it Peter Sanders, Richard Carl Betts? Bet with any of them. But I promise you, until they open the comment section and they don't wipe comments, please do not go with them. Because ultimately, I believe a million percent you'll lose money. And if they're watching this and they know that that isn't the case, all I would say to them is, open your comment section to everybody and allow people to comment. And if you can, if you're as good as what you say, you three, actually show daily or weekly running totals of what you've advised to all your different members, you can even say what you've advised to your private members. Let us know how many bets you've given them and let us know what's winning. We don't want to know what the selections are before they run, if we've not signed up for it, but let us know what you're giving your private members and let us know what's been winning. And that way, the private members can come on and say, I've not been giving them bets, or yes, I have been giving them bets, or I am winning on a regular basis, or no, I'm not winning. That will give people some transparency. That will give people more confidence in you and you might get more members on board. But I would suggest the fact that none of your open comments is because you know ultimately you're robbing people of money. If you're not, open your comment sections. If anybody likes this video, great. If they don't, thumbs down. But if you see it and you know anybody that bets, anybody, share it with them. I believe you can share it by pressing share or and send it to them. I mean, I'd like extra, what's the word, extra subscribers. It'd be great if they subscribe. Although not all of what I do is racing, as you may have seen. I cover a range of uh, subjects and I moan about most things and I'm moaning about this, but I moan about this because I love racing. I've got no problem with people gambling, but I've got a problem with individuals robbing others and telling lies. And I cannot understand how anybody is giving money to these sites where you, you catch any comments and where you're actually seeing what's happening. It's all smoke and mirrors, folks. It really, really is. And they shouldn't be allowed to get away with it, but they're getting away with it. As I say, if I'm wrong, and they're doing everything above board, open your comment section and let us know on a daily, weekly basis what tips you're giving, what prices they were, what one are lost, and what your profit and losses are for each week. As I say, if you're genuine, if you're, if you're up front, you'll have more people joining you. But if you like I suspect or not and taking people's money, well, you're not going up this comment section either if that's the case. As I say, viewers, if you like it, Please share it with anybody else that may look at gambling on horses. Even if, you know, even if they've never gambled with anyone on YouTube, it might just stop them going down that uh, dark alley. And that's what I want to do. Cheers.